everybody and welcome back to the channel my name is Chris Olmy and today we are back we are playing Starters Order 6 the starting mod here at Rascal Ranch now where we left off just so everybody can uh, keep up to date we basically have a breeding barn full of not very good horses let's just put it that way I was gonna be a little harsher but probably one of the best there's Dark Crescent and yeah you can kind of see why I'm getting rid of everybody um, <laughs> you know when Dark Crescent is about the best in the barn apart from our last season spectacular racer who won some races spectacularly and then fell off the cliff just as spectacularly it was kind of a rapid ascent and a rapid descent but rapid ascent is the name of the horse and that's the starting point for a decent breeding program you know it's by no means you know a great great horse but it's good enough to start a breeding program with and it has got one group three win so we're gonna see what happens there so we're rebuilding the breeding barn. We've got two years of falls coming through for money. So we're not going to worry too much about that. What we do have though is a horse that uh, we bought in an auction. So we've got Wishy's Mark. Now, grade three winner, then wins the conditions, then wins another conditions, and then third in her last race. Four year old filly, not a bad little horse, no finish application, no confidence whatsoever, but decent potential. So, you know, this one could go in the breeding barn and breed with rapid ascent. And we could just see how that works out. So I wouldn't be expecting miracles, but I would be expecting some high potential horses. And by high potential, at this stage, I mean about 70%. So... We're going to race Wishy this season and just see how she gets on. Um, and yeah, not so much money. We can't really do too much. The breeding barn was the big purchase we've got out the way. And nothing else needs to be done. So as long as we keep earning money with Wishy, we'll be okay. So we got her first race under our colours today. And we are going to... There we go. Just going to go find the race. We're going to Portland Meadows for a grade 3 race over 7 furlongs. Which I'm hoping will be a nice um, distance for her. I think it will be. Maybe we're going to go off to, you know, going to have to try it a mile. But 7 furlongs should be good. There's only a few other horses in here. You can see, you know, Lantana and uh, Sky Rose there. Terrible horses. We got Hope Cove, not rated very highly at all. And then we got Dubai Secret, the favourite, and that is a horse basically that I think we're going to be going up against. So, you know, this might be a case of the two of us heading out and uh, battling over this. Both seem very, very similar. Dubai Secret gets the uh, just gets the nod. I'm okay with that gonna throw oh general parameter error yeah I can't do it that way never works for me that way don't think it wants me to bid my last dollar but yeah I, I think we're coming sort of first or second in this race we might as well put on each way bets and just see if we can't accentuate that gain a little bit more now hopefully we don't have an abysmal race which is always a possibility but looking at this field I mean we've got two bad horses one half decent and one that's up there with us so we're gonna see 
how things go on this nice little start there. Sky Rose falls to the back, Hope Cove on the inside with Carrigan Lantana. And then Dubai Secret just nice and even. And we crash, which is a lovely, lovely start. So I'll be back. Okay, then we are back. I didn't put any bets on. I was wondering if maybe that had done something when I hit that general parameter issue. So we'll just go without the bets and see what kind of uh, what kind of happens here. I'm gonna let it run through the rest of this lap as well. Okay. And it's a good start for Wishy's Mark. Dubai Secret there just inside. Hope Cove on the inside, falling back a little bit now towards Carrigan Lantana. And Sky Rose up in a second place here, charging pretty hard. But Wishy's Mark here has got quite a lead over some of the field here. And is just lengthening out away from Sky Rose. Five furlongs to go. And this is a slightly promising start, actually. I, I don't mind this at all. However, I do think Dubai Secret is going to have a point to prove here. As you can see, the rest of the field now starting to make up some ground here. Approaching that three furlong mark where they really want to be within a few lengths to actually charge at this. Hope Cove, Dubai Secret now coming round the outside of Sky Rose. Up into challenging position, two and a half furlongs though. They are still a little bit further back than I would think, but up at two furlongs. Now they're in position. Here goes Dubai Secret, outclassing Hope Cove. And this is going to be a fight for the line. Who's got it in them? Looks like Dubai Secret is going to come through here. And that's a final furlong failure from Wishy's Mark. Hope Cove actually going to streak on through and take second place quite comfortably. And Wishy's Mark there, not really getting what we'd want done. I mean, that sucks. But, oh, I mean, that's not what we were looking for. That was not what we were looking for. I mean, hey, we earned money. I mean, that's good, but... Ugh. Guys, guys, guys. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. See, that's the thing about this game. I mean, it's the thing that I really like. I'm always constantly reevaluating what my horse is capable of. I'm never confident we're just going to go out and rout other horses day in, day out. I, I just don't think that we've been there for a while. So, you know, we seem to win, we seem to, you know, just falter. I'm just not sure what we're doing, how we're doing, where we're doing. But yeah. It's a very, very interesting one. Very, very interesting indeed. So I wanna go here over a mile then and see what we can do. I mean, there's that, which could be decent, I suppose. Stay away from the graded races. Kind of pull ourselves in. That would be 9-6, I believe. Wouldn't be too bad. Anything else in here? It's grade threes, but I mean, we just ran a grade three. So, let's throw Wishy's Mark into the... Uh, the Jersey Lily Turf over at Sam Houston. That'll be our next race. So, yeah. An inauspicious start, but that's pretty decent. And I think there now. So, mill, 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 mill. Everybody else is in full. And that will do it. So, as I say, rapid ascent there with the uh, the burden, really, of that breeding program on their back. We're done with all these horses. We're done here. 
Ugh, we do need to earn money. I want to see what's at auction, even though we can't afford anything. I mean, Smart Zone, technically we could afford right now. How's the family? But those are going to go for more than a couple of hundred. Those are going to go for a couple of hundred thousand, maybe. So, yeah, we need prize money. Without prize money, we're not going to be able to buy horses this year. And so we're not going to be able to earn big money this year either. See, we're down quite a lot now. We're back to the problem we had last year. We're easily able to get out of it, though. Don't worry about that. The breeding program pays for itself multiple times over. It's just really the setup cost which is the main issue. So let's go then and see what we can get done here. That's an interesting texture. It's a bit uh It's a bit bright and light, isn't it? Wow. Day glow grass. So Wishes Mark you're off to a good start with one trick nomad on the outside. Then back to Texan Ride and Deep Blue Diamond. Then at the back, Sarangu just outpacing Banzarai a little bit at the rear of the field. Looks here like Texan Ride is going to come up into second place, though. Six and a half furlongs. One trick Nomad wants that spot and swiftly comes back. They are trading it, though. Just on the tail of Wishy's Mark. Deep Blue Diamond not far behind this front four. And then. Banzare and Sarangu just trading off that last position as well. Past the five furlong marker onto this back stretch now. And looking for any signs that the rear two might be coming up. It looks like Sarangu there moved to the outside. Here they come. Banzare maybe a little bit later with their charge. Looks like Texan Rides falling back a little bit from One Trick Nomad and Deep Blue Diamond. Wishy's Mark is still out here though. Still charging at two and a half furlongs, actually lengthening the gap to the challengers. Here they come though, putting in the work with two furlongs left to go. And One Trick Nomad here is going to breeze down this home stretch. Wishy's Mark has a real fight now to stay in this race. Deep Blue Diamond's going to pass. Looks like Sarangu might as well. And Banzarai. And Texton Ride as well to finish back of the pack for Wishy's Mark. And yeah. Not a great horse. Not a great horse. And not... Ugh. Kills me, but... Not a miler either. I was kind of hoping that we'd end up at, at a mile because that's a good place to earn money. And seven furlong, we didn't quite seem to have it done. But yeah, what we found out is it's not a, it's definitely not a mile horse. I mean, I don't know if it's even a, a seven right now. I don't want to run it below its bars, but six furlong might actually be somewhere it can compete maybe maybe it can compete maybe it can't i don't know decent price decent field let's just go in we're gonna be top weight but i mean what difference does that make right now we're not winning races as it is we're not competitive enough and yeah, if this race goes badly wrong, then it's a seven furlong horse for certain, and it's going to be difficult to book winning races, I think. Ugh. Come on, then. Wishy's Mark. See what we can go here. I think this is Fauna Park, so... See if we can get anything good here. This is the Runza. Six furlong conditions race. Are we going to go off? Oh, what a bad start. Terrible start. But we are going to go straight to the front, it seems. 
make itself at home and it's high time fall down as well a little bit twice certain and ban a goal coming through and it looks like we got three there behind Wishy's mark Champagne Carey and makes up at home at the back the rest of the horses just behind Wishy's mark now three and a half furlongs so you can see these horses now getting right up in position to challenge Wishy's mark looks like she wants to go a little bit early here try and push out band of gold is going to go as well two and a half furlongs from home you can see the fun fair in the background there coming round the two furlong marker band of gold now streaking away a little bit we're down to one and a half furlongs coming off the turn here comes champagne carry it's high time trying to push on through as well and wishy's mark is going to drop down the field and have absolutely nothing in this final furlong so definitely not a six furlong horse either brilliant yeah 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 flattered to deceive grade three winner got some stuff but you know just <laughs> I just don't think that's going to work out. I just don't think this is going to work out for us. So seven furlongs. Let me find something that we might have a shot in. That's ultra competitive, isn't it? Group three handicap. I mean, we need an extra light jockey. Let's not do that. Um, what else is there? Come on. It's a grade two. There's conditions. It's grade one. I mean, what do I do? What do I do? Got a book in there. I mean, It's the only thing which looks uh, looks like it fits, but those horses are better than we are. Well, accidentally skipped it, didn't do anything. Booked in that race, might as well run. Oh my god, kill me now. Are you kill me? We're, we're carrying an extra stone over what we should. And we win a class one group three handicap. Are you, are you kidding me? Two days after we couldn't run in an allowance race. What is this horse? What? <laughs> what is this horse? What? What's going on? I mean, anybody know? Anybody got any ideas here? Because I ain't got a clue. Like, what was that? How did that? I, I mean, okay, group wins. I've got a grade two there. Eight runners. It's a half a million <laughs> price fund. If we somehow got into that top five, it'd be money for us. But I, I, I think that's a bit of a a crazy one. I guess that's a chance to do something. So a month ahead, let's see if we can get this going then with another group three win. This might rescue the money. It might also put the uh, put my fears to rest in terms of breeding if we get a few more grade three wins on this horse.
Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's see them. Where are we? Here we go. We're going to be favourite. We're up against a bad field. Now, really, if we lose against this lot, I think it's you know it's, it's game over for this horse. So we kind of got to win this. We're off early. Look at that! Wow. I read them and delete them right at the back there with a terrible start. Kate Yelder and Thornton Alice side by side. Then up to Little Meatball and Aeroforce. And Wishy's Mark at the front here. Five and a half furlongs. A speed things up because fully expecting us to win this if we don't win this. I might just cry at how bad things are. But there we go. It looks like we're pushing out slightly looks like Aeroforce might be coming back ever so slightly but that's going to be a nice easy win we can book winning races we can book winning races I mean it's a graded win we've just got to be really clever with it You know? Like, how did she win that one? I don't know how she won that one. I don't know, but that's like got us the money to do stuff. Guys and girls, comment section below. Have your say. Let me know. What's going on? <laughs> like, what's... Seriously, what's going on? I don't understand. I really don't understand this. Like, this horse... It looks terrible at times and then good at others I mean I think we're on a hiding to nothing if we go in here I don't think group one is is anything right now but if we put in for the grade three I mean you know, for the sake of two grand, like, why not? Let's just put in for both. <laughs> Let's just put in for both. Anything in the auction. Uh, four of 26, that's not enough of a winning record for me to do anything there. We'll go around to the next auction. Now we got a little bit of money on our side. So, yeah, the triple bend. I mean, this is a big race for us. This is a big race. And I fully expect to finish back of the pack. But I've expected that in a couple of previous races for her. And she's done, you know, or not her in particular, but other horses have done quite well. And like two races ago, I give her no chance and she goes and wins a race. Four of 28. Ugh. Not really getting the quality of horses I would have hoped for. But we're up here to Santa Anita to get a grade one win out of the way. Hopefully. I don't see it happening, but hey. Oh, look at that. We're middle of the pack. I mean, we're not rated all the way down the bottom where we probably should be. I mean... I don't know, low rated, low weighted, low chances, but unfancied. What what can we do? Richard's Valentina looks like a nice horse. I'm actually gonna put Oh that's 
I was expecting like five, not 22. So that's a bit more than I wanted to put on Rachel's Valentina. I hope she comes in the top couple of positions. It's gonna suck otherwise. Maybe I should have skipped this as well. Maybe. So, we're out towards lead here. Six furlongs, a large field. Sailor Hoy Gabriel's kill king at the back with Rat Catcher, Rachel's Valentina, uh, Morning Fire, then up to Double Tough. Get a dumb but an amazing blue sky there just now at the rear of your picture as we've got Tajub and Silver Wings just behind Wishy's Mark. Four furlongs left. Looks like all these horses are going to come into play around here. Wishy's Mark is going to get absolutely steamrolled as expected and finish back of the pack as expected. Lovely, lovely stuff. And I even lose 20 grand because Rachel's Valentina comes in eighth. Eighth. Yeah. Bad. That was bad. That was bad. Okay, last race of the video. And if we can't do anything in this race, then I'm just going to call it and say that she goes in the breeding barn. I've done it again, haven't I? I've just skipped. I've just skipped. And there we go. Like, 10th. Don't know how she won. Such a big, big race there in the distaff. I just don't know. But 75,000 win there in the Unami. Then 140,000 in the uh, in the NM Classic Oaks. And then the distaff with a big, big win. So, I've got to do it. I've got to do it. Retire a stud. Clink. Breeding barn. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. So, we've got grade three winners here. Grade three winners that have each won over 300,000 prize money. They're each over 80 rated. They're both sprinting horses. Let's get them bred up while we have the chance. Anything on a Wednesday sale? There is indeed. I mean, easy victory might be the horse we actually want here because it's got laid back. That can go in the breeding barn and do absolutely nothing for us. But look at that price. Was not expecting that. Give me an auction. Nobody wants this horse. Won so many selling races, nobody wants this horse. Of course, no people want this horse. Are you kidding me? Like I saw the laid back trait. Come on, people. Why are you all bidding? Stop bidding. Y'all don't want these terrible horses. I want these terrible horses. I want a terrible horse. Just so I can skip the season, please. Game, please. You kidding me? 37 rated horse going for 20 grand. Okay. So, let's get down to Umelica. See if we can't snap her up. I so say we don't want to buy these horses to race or anything, or even to breed from. If they did have laid back, then maybe. Just to get that in the breathing program. Well, there we go. Looks like we've got our horse. Yeah. 
absolutely terrifyingly bad. That means now I can skip towards the end of the season and just keep things going. So, see if we get that breathing done. Nope. We're not going to get that breathing done. So, I'm going to leave the video here. We're going to skip through the end of the season. We're going to pick up at the start of the new season in the next video. Short seasons just because we haven't got anything capable of winning and we don't need to race for money so I'd rather accelerate this forward to a place where the breeding program's actually coming in and it's something interesting to watch um, and something I need to learn more about sort of figuring out what traits I need from what horses how to breed the lines together when not to breed uh, certain horses with certain traits you know when I'm likely to lose stuff I want and not really gain other stuff in return so that's kind of where we're going with this but uh yeah not a great season korea 10 winners in 54 races we've earned half a million dollars not too bad not too bad two wins out of eight races this season for 149,000. again not too bad you know, we're just getting things done. We're earning our money. But we will need to do more. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. I've been Chris Army. This is the Start It Mode on Starters Order 6. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying. Take care and come back to see the new crop of falls and where we are in Season 3. 4. 3. I think it's Season 3 coming up. So, yeah. See you guys then.